गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टीन ए एंड लेक्चर नंबर फिफ्टीन ए आई हैव एक्सप्लेन द रूल एंड रेगुलेशन ऑफ जर्नल एंट्री एंड वंस अगेन आई रिपीट गोल्डन रूल फॉर जर्नल एंट्री डेविड द रिसीवर credit the giver this rule is based on personal account second is debit what comes in credit what goes out this is real account and third debit all the expenses and losses and credited all the income and gains this is based on nominal account now student this is my lecture number 16a and i am going to teach journal entry today's topic is cash discount and trade discount trade discount and cash discount and i will pass journal entry based on trade discount and cash discount so first we have to know what is trade discount there are two type of discount first is trade discount and second is cash discount trade discount is allowed by wholesaler or manufacturer to the retailer at a fixed percentage on the list price of goods it is allowed when goods are purchased in bulk that is large quantity this discount is allowed both on credit as well as cash transactions since it is related to the purchases and not to the payment no separate entry passed for the trade discount as it is deducted from the cash memo or invoice of the goods for example if a trader sells goods of the list price rupees 1 lakh at 20% trade discount suppose goods sold to ram list price rupees 1 lakh at the rate of 20% trade discount then journal entry will be ram's account dr to sales account and amount will be in debit side rupees 80000 and in credit side also rupees 80000 being goods sold to ram rupees ram at the rate of 20% trade discount so in this journal entry trade discount deducted from list price and trade discount not is not showing in journal entry so next see the next question goods goods 
सोल्ड फॉर कैश रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड एट द रेट ऑफ टेन परसेंट ट्रेड डिस्काउंट टी डी मीन्स ट्रेड डिस्काउंट देन जर्नल इंट्री विल बी कैश अकाउंट डी आर टू सेल्स अकाउंट एंड अमाउंट विल बी नाइन थाउजेंड सो वी आर सींग दैट only discount deducted from list price and trade discount not recorded in journal if the goods sold at a trade discount are returned by the customer the amount of trade discount is again deducted from the list price of the return goods because i have sell the goods on trade discount so return also will be on trade discount now next discount is cash discount कैश डिस्काउंट स्टूडेंट कैश डिस्काउंट इज अलाउड टू द कस्टमर फॉर मेकिंग प्रॉम्प्ट और अर्ली पेमेंट और क्विकली पेमेंट इन अदर वर्ड कैश डिस्काउंट इज अलाउड ओनली इफ द कस्टमर मेक्स द पेमेंट Within a fixed period, such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the payment early. Such discount motivate the customer to make the recorded along with the entry for payment discount is a nominal account cash and as such it is debited when it is allowed to a customer and credited when it is received if suppose that goods sold for cash rupees 1000 at the rate of 10% cash discount cd means cash discount then journal entry will be cash account dr discount allowed account dr to sales account now amount will be 900 100 and 1000 so cash discount recorded in the books we can see that trade discount is not recorded in the book but cash discount is recorded in the book now on the basis of rule we can say goods sold for cash then cash is coming in my business so cash account will be debit and when discount is given to customer this will be our loss so according to rule of nominal account all the losses and expenses are debited so i will debit discount allowed account also and sales is a nominal account through sales cash is coming 
so in this case sales is our income so income will be credited just we have debited purchase account so purchase sales account is just opposite of purchase account therefore sales account will be credit in all the cases when goods are sold and purchase account will be debit when goods are purchased now some other example cash paid to ram rupees 1000 and discount received at the rate of 10% then this is cash discount 10% cash discount journal entry will be cash paid to ram in this case ram's account will be debit ram's account will be debit because ram is receiver and we know that the rule debit the receiver so ram we paid cash to ram so ram account ram's account debit to cash is going so cash account and discount received account will be credit also discount received account in this question paid to ram rupees 1000 and cash is going 900 900 and 100 discount received so when we paid cash to any person and when he gave discount then it will be our income so it will be credited in this case so or we know that according to nominal account when any income it will be credit and cash is going so they will credit what goes out therefore it will also credit in this account ram's account is debit and to cash account to discount account is credit so this is the solution now we can see some other example also just suppose goods sold to ram for cash rupees 1 lakh at the rate of 10% trade discount and 5% cash discount in this question both discount are include i we sold goods to ram so for cash in this case cash is coming so cash account will be debit cash account dr and also it is cash discount is given so discount allowed account also will be debit and to sales account first i will calculate trade discount 10000 and deduct from list price 
सो आई विल डिडक्ट टेन परसेंट ऑफ वन लाख फ्रॉम वन लाख सो इट विल रिमेन नाइन्टी थाउजेंड देन आई विल पुट नाइन्टी थाउजेंड एज सेल एंड नाउ आई विल कैलकुलेट फाइव परसेंट कैश डिस्काउंट ऑफ नाइन्टी थाउजेंड सो इट विल बी फोर थाउजेंड एंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड इन दिस केस कैश विल कम एट्टी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड फाइव हंड्रेड सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन कैश डिस्काउंट एंड ट्रेड डिस्काउंट बोथ नाउ वन मोर एग्जाम्पल सपोज गुड्स सोल्ड टू राम रुपीज वन लाख एट द रेट ऑफ ट्वेंटी परसेंट ट्रेड डिस्काउंट एंड टेन परसेंट कैश डिस्काउंट ऑफ हुईच ऑफ हुईच फोर्टी परसेंट कैश रिसीव्ड इमी डिएटली फोर्टी परसेंट कैश रिसीव इमीडिएटली देन जर्नल एंट्री विल बी फर्स्ट आई विल रिकॉर्ड जर्नल एंट्री सम इन दिस क्वेश्चन सम गुड्स आर सोल्ड फॉर क्रेडिट एंड सम फॉर कैश बिकॉज ओनली फोर्टी परसेंट कैश रिसीव्ड then 60% of goods will be credit so journal entry will be rams account rams account dr cash account dr डिस्काउंट अलाउड अकाउंट डी आर टू सेल्स अकाउंट बट हाउ नाउ यू हैव टू सी द कैलकुलेशन एंड लिस्ट प्राइस is given 1 lakh first i will deduct trade discount 20% from list price it will be 20000 remaining total sale will be 80000 only now फोर्टी परसेंट कैश रिसीव इमीडिएटली सो सिक्सटी परसेंट विल बी ऑन क्रेडिट सो आई विल डिडक्ट क्रेडिट सेल सिक्सटी परसेंट फोर्टी इट विल बी फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड देन रिमेनिंग बैलेंस विल बी थर्टी टू थाउजेंड so it will be cash sell forty percent will be cash sell now cash discount is always given on cash paid so cash paid will be thirty two thousand therefore discount cash discount will be 10% according to question 
cash discount now cash discount deduct 10 percent so 3200 and remaining balance will be 28800 this will be cash received so in this journal entry I will write cash received 28,800 and cash discount will be recorded so in debit chart so cash discount will be 3,200 and credit sale is 48,000 so I will record 48,000 personal account of rams 48000 and total sale is given 80000 because i have deduct uh, i have deduct 20% from list price because trade discount will not so in books of journal so this is the journal entry but rule is applying here when we goods sold to ram ram is receiver in case of credit sale so 60 percent credit sale and ram account will be debit according to rule of personal account personal account says debit the receiver so ram is receiver of goods so it will be debit and 40 percent cash received so cash is coming in the business so it will also be debit according to rule of real account rule of real account says debit what comes in next point is discount allowed when i received cash and give discount to any person it will be loss for us so i will also debit discount allowed because according to rule of nominal account nominal according to rule of nominal account debit all the expenses and losses now total sale deducted trade discount is 80000 when i will add a three item then it will be 80000 only so this is the solution based on cash discount and trade discount this is journal entry based on trade discount and cash discount now one more point difference between cash discount and trade discount difference between trade discount and cash discount if definition is given we can say trade discount is given by manufacturer to wholesaler wholesaler to retailer and retailer to customer but cash in connection of definition cash discount is given to those customer who paid immediately or within fixed period so for quick payment cash discount is given second difference will be trade discount is not recorded in the books of journal but cash discount is 
recorded now next point will be generally it is deducted from the list price trade discount is deducted from is from the list price but cash discount is not deducted from the list price or invoice so these are the difference between cash discount and trade discount some advantage of trade discount advantage it reduce the cost of purchase and thus increase the margin of profit trade discount reduce the cost of purchase therefore increase the margin of profit second advantage may be it enable the retailer to make some profit even if he sells the goods at their catalog price now advantage of cash discount advantage of cash discount may be the possibility of bad debt is minimized because payment is made as soon as possible seller received the amount within a time because cash discount is allowed only if the customer make the payment with in the specified period so prompt payment reduce the clerical work of maintaining of data account and of sending sending frequent reminder to debtors so these are the difference and advantage of trade discount and cash discount A student i will meet you in the next video with some new topic thank you thank you very much